I'll read it from NIV. First Timothy chapter 5 verse 23 Stop drinking holy water and use a little wine because of your stomach and your frequent illnesses. I am bringing this topic to you all because, because many Christians are dilemma about this topic about the wine or uh, alcohol. Some denominations are allowed to drink and some denominations are not. And they are so much confusing. That's why I am bringing this topic. The book of Timothy is written by Apostle Paul to the young Timothy in the midst of 60 AD. In the midst of 60 AD. First of all, I would like to discuss about all the stamina, how they have used the wine. Genesis chapter 9 verse 20, Noah began to plant Winnaeum. Exodus chapter 29 verse 40, talks about the drink offering. Leviticus chapter 10 verse 9, Lord spoke to Aaron, drink no wine or strong wine when you do the dance of meeting. Number 6 verse 3, he shall separate himself from wine. Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 3, you shall blind when you and trust them out, you shall not drink. It's a curse. Judges chapter 13 verse 4 and 5, angel told the burial not to drink strong wine. She is the mother of Samson, the strongest man in the Bible. The strongest man in the Bible. In the, and Nehemiah chapter 2 verse 1, serving wine to the king and asked to build the wall of Jerusalem. Uh, in the Old Testament, the wine is used in a good or bad way. Now let's come to New Testament. How the New Testament people use in the Bible? John chapter 2 verse 6 to 9, Gospel chapter 2 verse 6 to 9, talks about the wine at the marriage in Cana at Galilee. The first miracle of Jesus Christ, according to the record of Gospel John, the first miracle of Jesus Christ is water turned into wine. First Timothy chapter 5 verse 23, drinks a little wine for your stomach, for your illnesses. Galatians chapter 5 verse 21, drunkenness will not inherit the kingdoms of God. Now, how will we understand these two verses? 1 Timothy chapter 5 verse 23 and Galatians chapter 5 verse 21. To understand the scripture verses, to understand these two verses, I would like to discuss about the alcohol, about the families of beverage. Beverage, I hope the, uh, those who have finished the hotel management training, they will understand what is the beverage family. What is beverage? A drink other than water is called beverage. What is alcohol? A drink that contain the recreational drinks, a recreational drugs, ethanol is called alcohol. Now, what is ethanol? Organic chemical compound. It is a symbol with the chemical formula C2H6O. C2H6O. Now, now listen carefully. We will talk about the beverage thing. Under beverage, there are two types. One will be alcoholic and another will be non-alcoholic. First, I will discuss about the non-alcoholic beverage. Under non-alcoholic beverage, like tea, coffee, cold drinks like Sprite, Coca-Cola, thumbs up, and as well as rose wine, red wine, white wine, and uh, yes, all these wines will come under soft drinks. Soft drinks or the non-alcoholic drinks. The first Timothy 5 verse 23 talks about these non-alcoholic or soft, soft drinks. It is good for the uh, digestive, it is good for the stomach. Now let us come back to the non-alcoholic non privileges. Non-alcoholic privileges are two types. One is high alcoholic privilege, another is low alcoholic, low alcohol. High alcoholic privileges under that vodka, rum, gin, champagne, bagandi, tequila, black lepen, etc. And also family of beer like rosemary, kingfishers, Budweiser, etc. In low alcohol, in low alcohol, there are two types: uh, smokeless tobacco and smoking tobacco. If you come to tobacco, and I'll discuss smoking tobacco. Smoking tobacco 
like secret TV, flight, kansa, opium, etc. And it's more as the bago, kaka, golden, talab, pan, sikat, tamu, etc. And also all kind of drugs, all kind of drugs, sunflower, SP, and nitro, this all comes under the smoke less tobacco. And the, according to the Galatians chapter 5, verse 21, says that drunkenness will not inherit the kingdoms of God. The, not inherit the kingdom of God. Then this all alcohol is a drunken thing. So those who consume this alcohol shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Alcohol privilege is strictly prohibited in the Bible. It's strictly prohibited in the Bible. Those who consume the, the alcohol or the alcohol, low alcohol, they will not be allowed to inherit the kingdom of God. In, in models wine, models wine is not an alcohol. It is a soft drink. It is a digestive drink like rose wine, white wine and red wine. And some denomination use this rose wine in the Lord's Supper. Are you a trembling woman or man? Are you addicted with the tobacco? Are you chewing bun? Are you using all the alcoholic things? It's not today because God has forbidden to consume alcohol. God is not allowed. The Bible is not allowed to consume the ethanol. The alcohol, the tobacco, the rum, and all the uh, things that mess you. Come. Come back to Christ before you face difficulty, trials, and troubles. Before you face the wrath of God. Before you lose your one leg, your one and your one eye. Or before you lost your life. If you die today without repent, you will go to hell. Those who are listening to my video, those who are watching my video, if you are consuming or if you are using drugs, please stop. Jesus is telling to you, come one step. Come one step to watch him. The rest, 99 step. The rest, 99 step, he will take to be with you. He will take to watch you. Jesus told Jesus will take 99 steps to watch you. Therefore, I'm saying to you all is that do not misunderstand the wine and the alcohol. And also, stop using all this. This is unholy in, in the sight of God. Because of your consuming this all, you are making trouble to the communities. You are making trouble, you are bringing the difficulties and sadness to your family, you are bringing trouble to the church members. Not only that, you will not live long in this world. You will die. Therefore, come back to Christ, turn to Christ, and let all this unholy thing, the unholiness, will not inhabit the kingdoms of God. You sh should come today, accept Jesus as your personal savior and live as an example of Jesus so that you will live long in this world you will get every kind of blessing in this world as well as you will inherit the kingdoms of God if you meditate the word of God night and day and walk according to the Bible and taking the examples of Jesus Christ then you will be the blessed person in this world as well as you will be inherit the kingdoms of God if friends Stop all consuming unholy thing. Please repent. Turn back to Christ. Before it's too late. I'm saying to you repeat again. Repent before it's too late. And make Jesus as your personal shepherd. May God bless you through this true short sermon. Amen.